Hi everybody, Brian from iSpring. Today we're going to talk about applying penalties in your quiz. Penalties are a useful way to keep students from guessing randomly. Knowing that they face penalties for incorrect answers is a good way of keeping them focused. To set a default penalty for all incorrect answers, go to Quiz Properties, Question Defaults, and set the penalty right here. To set a custom penalty for a particular question, go to that question and uncheck this box. Then you can enter your penalty here. And since this is a multiple choice question, you can even assign penalties for individual answers. Just select Buy Answer from this menu and apply your points here. Obviously, the correct answer should get some positive points. Since this answer is pretty close, I won't penalize them for it. But these two graphs are completely wrong, so I'll take a bite out of their score if they select one of these. Remember that a penalty should be assigned in negative numbers. This principle also works for multiple response questions. Here I'm awarding 5 points for every correct selection and taking away 5 for this wrong answer. Here's a couple of tips. For time questions, a penalty will be applied if the user didn't answer the question on time. Also, if you allow multiple attempts for a question, the penalty will only be applied once for the first failed attempt. Now let's take a look at how this works in action. There's no such thing as a negative score, so I'll just get a few points first. Now I'll answer this next question incorrectly. As you can see, I've been penalized 5 points for my wrong answer. Now here's the multiple response question. The total point value for all three correct answers is 15. I'll select the wrong answer, plus two correct ones, for a net gain of five points. And there you have it. That's how to apply penalties in iSpring Quizmaker. Thanks for watching.